Hey guys, Tommy here. Look at my hair. Uh, not really, you don't, you don't have to look at my hair. Well, we're not here to talk about my hair. Although it is looking marvellous. No, no, we're here to talk about streaming. Now, as you may or may not know, me and my cohort Bongi stream quite regularly. In fact, there's a good chance as you're watching this video, we're streaming right now. And with YouTube Gaming now officially released and uh, the increasing popularity of Twitch, I'm sure there's tons of you going, well, hang on, I want a taste of that pie. By which, of course, I mean uh, you want to give streaming a go. Maybe you're really funny or witty or you're really good at games and you just want, or you just want to give streaming a go. Now, I'm not going to show you how to set up your stream on uh, streaming platforms like OBS or XSplit. There's absolutely loads of videos you can find on YouTube uh, that will do that for you. However, another big part of streaming is your overlays, uh, e.g. what's on screen. Do you have like a follow alert, a donation alert? A lot of streamers use these, pretty much all of them. Some don't. Um, but really most people have to have some kind of overlay and you might be thinking but Tommy I haven't got a creative bone in my body. What am I to do? Well, there are some websites that can help you with that and I'm going to speak about a specific one today called Strexum. Strexum. Street Strexum. Strexium. However you want to say it, it's a website that allows you to create a custom overlay for your stream uh, which has all the trimmings on it, all the alerts, everything all in one, really easily and quickly. And I was actually very impressed by it. So I'm going to go and show you guys how you can set that up really quickly right now. So the first thing you want to do is go to strexem.tv and then connect your Twitch account. Uh, mine's already connected, so it's going to automatically log me in. Here we go. And boom, you're logged in. The first thing you'll notice on a new account is you'll be given access to a free overlay. There are a lot of different overlays to choose from. A lot of them are for specific games. However, a lot of them can be used in a generic manner for every game. So once you've chosen one, you go back to your homepage. Here we can see on my account, I have several overlays that I have gained. To get more overlays, all you need to do is donate to the website down here. Donating will earn you coins. Those coins you can use over at the marketplace to buy more overlays. Now, once you've got those overlays and you think that one looks super cool, like this H on Z wall style overlay, you can have a little preview of it. So this is what it's going to look like. But that's not the end. You can customise this overlay to however you like it, like so. The editing interface is rather robust and lets you change a whole lot of settings to do with the overlay. I want to go through some of the things you can change. First of all, you can rename items on the screen. This one says latest follower, so I'm going to put this as new eggs. Recent donations, that is now going to be top Ds. If you have a YouTube, Twitter or Facebook channel, you can chuck it all in here. And you can move around your webcam overlay to a position on the screen that you want and to put a name underneath it if you so choose. If there are parts of the overlay you do not like, you can always remove them. Say, I don't want a webcam because I hate my ugly face. That can be clicked off. You can also change settings on the top bar by clicking settings and you can change stuff like top donation. Maybe you don't want that on there. Maybe you don't have a Facebook page, but you've got an Instagram. You can change that over and make sure you put the name up in here. Moving on from that, you go down to the follower alerts. You've got follower, sub and donation alerts. We'll go through these. So the follower alert looks like this. You can preview what it's going to look like. Oh, there we go. It bounces and makes a lovely loud sound. And using this interface here, you can change quite a lot of stuff about it. So you can change what it actually says. You can change the thank you line or have nothing. You can change the duration, the alert delay, the color of the name of the person who followed. You can add an animation to the follower name. And you can change what sound plays when they follow. There's some stock sounds to choose from, like this one. Or you can upload your own sounds by choosing the interface here. I've got loads of sounds on my stream, so I'm going to go ahead and just go and pick one. There we go, it's uploaded, so I can select it, play it, make sure it's okay. Now when I preview the alert, it plays the sound and shows me my changes. You can do similar customization for the sub alerts and donation alerts, adding custom text and sounds as you see fit. Now once you're done fiddling with your overlay, you can go ahead and click update on the top right. To use this overlay on your stream, you'll be needing the unique overlay link here, which you can copy to your clipboard. To use that link with your OBS or XSplit, you're going to need the CLR browser plugin. There is a quick start guide at the top of the screen here to help you with that. Installing this plugin and adding the overlay to your software is really bloody easy. Even your nan could do it. So now I've added the overlay to my CLR browser plugin in OBS and it's going to look something like this. And blammo, that's it. My overlay's done. I'm here in the webcam slot. I've got my top bar ready there with all the details that I've changed and I'm ready to load a game and get streaming. It's as simple as that. It was really bloody easy. So there it is. Uh, remember, if you make any modifications or changes to these overlays and update it, you'll need to reinitialize your CLR plugin in your OBS or XSplit. You can also have multiple scenes in your OBS or XSplit for different games. Say you've got several different overlays here for different styles of game. You can set that all up and then customize them to how you like and you're bloody off. So that's it for this video. I've changed my t-shirt and my hair's now wet. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time.